Hello and welcome to this video in the lockdown learning series where we're going to take a little bit more of a look at contact player so adding some different kind of sounds so you see there's a couple of little tweaks to be done and looking at saving multis which will mean you don't have to reconstruct these sounds from scratch and also you can maybe go through a period of sound programming and creating these sort of soundscapey things and then another time you can start using them musically so often it's a good idea to have a bit of time where you just i'm just going to create some sounds with no end in mind just creating some sounds and then you can use them later on so as you can see i've got a layered patch here so we've got two two sounds from the factory library set up and i'm just going to add another one from play series selection because there's a couple of things that happen when you do that which maybe a little bit off-putting so i'm going to load up the hybrid keys sound which has got some great sounds in there by the way and you see when it loads up it's mimicked these in that it's minimized and if we maximize it we can see here we can pick the sound so i'm actually going to stick with the default sound but it's not playing and unlike these so in these ones we can see straight away we've got the output and most importantly the midi channel is available but on this it isn't and you might scratch your head for a bit Scratch your head no more, it's the I button. If you press that, we get the interface we know and love. So now we can change this. So this is on MIDI channel one from the host. And now we get that. And it's gonna overpower everything. So we need to turn down the volume a little bit. And get that. And now we've got some, you know, atmospheric pad for those moments in that TV program where you realize your favorite character is gonna die. And it's very very sad so that's the first thing now secondly say saving these this is important so at the top of the multi rack you will see there's a name which you can double click and I'm gonna call it fave is about to cop it so I'm gonna save that now so we click the little floppy disk icon which is seeming increasingly anachronistic as I can't even remember the last time I saw a floppy disk but there we go and we're going to do save multi as. So a multi is multiple instruments. So I'm going to click save multi as. And you can see it's picked up the name that I put in there. It's going to save it by default in the folder where the Cubase project is. So you may want to put it in a separate folder. So you could expand this to the file selector on your operating system of choice and then put it somewhere else. So in fact, I'm going to put it in music. I'm going to make a new folder called multis and then I'm going to save it in there and that's saved so if I want to load that up in a new project I can do that so you can spend a bit of time just creating sounds and going oh you know I like this I like that because often you'll find you're in that kind of mode and then loading them up is dead easy so I'm just going to show you how easy it is so just going to get rid of both these tracks so we can see there's no cheating occurring add an instrument track with contact in there's our blank contact. Click the floppy disk icon. And we can click load recent. So you see here it's got a list of the previous sounds that I've loaded up recently. But that's in there. Or you click load and go and find it. But either way, it always asks you about replacing multi, even though obviously there's no multi at the moment. But it will just ask you that. It's, it's just making sure you're not going to screw up. So we click yes. It loads them up. And we're exactly where we were before ready to create the soundtrack for our moody Scandinavian documentary. And that's it for this video, so I hope you found that useful and I'll see you again soon.